I'm really enjoying this at the min. This is um, a new 17 lip gloss. I actually got this in their Christmas advent calendar last Christmas, just gone. I think it's a limited edition shade, but it's actually really nice. If it's anything to go by for their regular ones, it's got a lovely formula. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you might have guessed, my name is Ellie <laughs> and this channel is all about things that are very me. <laughs> Happy New Year for 2024 because I don't think I've actually filmed and uploaded on my main channel this year yet, which is terrible. How are we in May? <laughs> There's been many a change, as you can see. There's a bit of a different background. It is all go. Um, but yes, it's gonna take me some time to kind of spruce it up and get things how I like. Um, but I have a lot more space now to film, which is really lovely. Um, so today, on a long awaited late, if that's a word, I have been wanting to film a giant empties review. I've done, I think, a couple of these before. Um, time just flies and the amount of empties I have collated is absolutely shocking. So let me just show you. Oh my gosh, I nearly pulled a muscle. Hold on to you. Tell you what, who needs to work out? Who needs weights when you have this many empties? Oh my gosh. Oh, right, I need to put these down somewhere. I'm thinking of splitting this into two parts because this is just gonna be absolutely ginormous. I'm gonna whiz through everything as quickly but concisely and you know, in such a beneficial way that you'll get a snapshot of what I thought of the product um, as I can. This is probably a year's worth of beauty empties, I'm not including absolutely everything. Um, but yeah, here we go. <laughs> First up, we've got the Garnier Ultimate Blends Curl Restoring Hair Food Cocoa Butter and Jojoba Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, now, when I found out that Garnier had gone cruelty free, um, officially Leaping Bunny certified, I don't know if that's going to focus, this is going to be a hard job now I'm this far away. I was intrigued to try them again as a teenager, I loved them, and the hair foods, like the smoothie style shampoo conditioners, just sounded amazing and like they're going to be super nourishing with my hair. I have curly hair today, this is actually heatless, but it is with like the well, it's not the curl band, it's dressing down curls. <laughs> um, but I am starting to notice a bit of a curl to my hair, like over the last six to eight months, I think I actually am curly haired. <laughs> so I thought this would work a treat. Um, long story short, sadly, I hated it. The fact that it's for curls and it's meant to be like hair food, super nourishing, um, here we go, dry curly hair, it says on the bottom, it dried out my hair. I could not wait to finish this up. It's, it's not pretty nice, not out of this world. But yeah, that was a very big no-no. Okay, next up we have the Coco and Eve Like a Virgin it's Super Nourishing Coconut and Fake Hair Mask. Wow, that is a long title. Now, I've tried this before. I can't remember if I got it in Beauty Box. Um, I love it. I really, really, really love it. It's not my ultimate favourite hair mask but it does do wonders and it smells absolutely gorgeous. So if you're in the market for a good hair mask, and just to know, I think everything in here, we are all fully cruelty free and vegan. Um, fantastic, would totally recommend. It makes your hair really soft. Oh, now this one is a slight surprise. It's the Dr. Bronner's 18 in one Rose Pure Castile Soap. So the Dr. Bronner's soap, I've been, well, I say purchasing for years, they last forever. You need like the tiniest smidgen to lather up, lather up. I don't know if lather's a bit posh. <laughs> um, but I use this to clean my makeup brushes. As I said, a little goes a long way. It leaves them beautifully clean, but it doesn't like strip brushes and make them really hard. They do, I don't know if they have fragrance in per se. I am not 100% certain, um, but they're all like very like, natural as can be good for you products they just do leave a little bit of the scent ever so slightly in your brush just after you've washed it but by no means is it overpowering um, or intolerable and it does not irritate my face especially my eyes when i go to use my brushes after washing them with the dr bronner's i've currently got an orange or a citrus one they're amazing and they clean makeup off your brushes so easily, so well. I could not recommend them highly enough. If you use a bar of soap or if you're using like shampoo, honestly, just skip using them. It's gonna work out so much cheaper with Dr. Brothers. It will last you forever. Trust me, you'll love it. <laughs> Next up, we've got, I'm gonna call this the groom. 
I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, Groom Soothing Shave Gel. So Groom was a new brand. I actually came across because my rail card <laughs> you know you get emails from rail card and um, suggested it as a new brand and it's quite nice because it's a northern brand vegan cruelty free but they focus on making good ingredient products so based as much as they can on natural natural ingredients so on the back it says it's a gentle formulation vegan cruelty free made in the uk which is actually manchester which is quite nice because it's kind of close to home for me and um, i'm really impressed by their products this one um, yeah. cruelty free and vegan shave gels they are hard to come by it's not the best i've tried even though there's not a lot on the market i just don't think i'd try it again because it didn't give enough of like a gel for me to feel like i was getting something to shave my legs with like that barrier and it didn't kind of leave that moisture feel um, so yeah, I just felt, I don't want to say pointless, that's the wrong word. It wasn't right for my legs and shaving my legs, but if you want to think a bit lighter and slightly, slightly refreshing, because I currently have one that I'm using, I've used before that's very refreshing, <laughs> um, I'd recommend that. I think it's, well, I was going to say it's made for guys, but I actually think it's unisex because I use the men's one anyway, sometimes they're just so much fun. Okay, I don't think I'm going to find a match um, for this one, but this is the Body Shop Banana shampoo shampooing banana shampoo and it's for dry to prone to frizz hair or hair prone to frizz that's better <laughs> i love this my mom used this when i was younger and then um, she recommended it to me it's cool it smells a dream um and it, it does really help but i do struggle with fizzy uh, fizzy <laughs> I do struggle with frizzy dry hair, and um, especially as now, as I'm getting older, I'm noticing it does have a bit of a natural curl to it, and it does work wonders. I still don't feel like I've cracked my like holy grail shampoo and conditioner. It's still very much a search that I am on the go with. As is it MK London? No, MD London. Michael Douglas. We're just seeing if you've not seen um, my vlog at the Harvey Nicks event over on my vlog channel. I'll link it below. He was saying it's not do the shampoo and conditioner you use it's how you style your hair and um, but obviously they do play a part your shampoo and conditioner but yeah couldn't recommend enough full of good stuff you're literally doing good with your pennies and um, i have a body shop vlog coming up and uh, blog post so keep your eye out for that because it's oh full of lovely stuff and i know the body shop i'm so glad they're staying next up is the soap and glory color fruity hydrating body lotion now this i remember i got last summer and i put it in like my little drawer at my boyfriend's i had like my little ellie stash so this was like my at my boyfriend's scent um oh it's so gorgeous it's just like if you remember zoe suggs jello and jello and gelato or the gelato body care range it reminds me of that very much like that it's like mm, how can i describe it i can almost taste the sweets that it smells like and then they disappear but some kind of like old school sweets like creamy sweet ones like chews i can't think of what it is and it's not chew it's because i've currently got <laughs> the shower gel that does smell like strawberry chew it's yeah if you haven't been able to tell already i just have a sweet tooth but yeah soap and glory body lotions I love the perfect they do the job now i'm a body butter girl or gal however you want to say it and i do love a thicker moisturizer and um, but i find soap and glory's lotions although i love their butters are the perfect balance and they are quite nice although i'm a mad one and i will go for a body butter like in the peak of summer <laughs> the soap and glory lotions are still a nice balance they're rich but they absorb really well and, and like but they still last on your skin so yeah 10 out of 10. Okay, next up we've got two more Safe and Glories and um, as I've just said, this two body butters. <laughs> so we've got the Righteous Butter and Peach Please. Oh, Peach Please. This was a new one last year, I think. It's kind of losing its scent a little bit in there, but it's just reminded me I actually took this to Morocco. It's giving me like a little flashback of memories there. And um, this was gorgeous. I don't feel like there's anything like this scent on the market and it's slightly higher price but it's drugstore realm i'd say it's nearer the lower end of drugstore prices and um, compared to like your i don't know it's salt de janeiro drugstore anywho it's very affordable you get lots of product it's super thick and nourishing 
and that peach scent is just gorgeous if you are going on holiday or you want a special summer scent love 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 the body shop and super glory body butters are like my absolute fave so i, I can't fault it and just to note the righteous butter this brings back so many memories <laughs> I think was I treating myself every now and again I'll treat myself to nice body care things and this is the scent that takes me back to when I started vlogging I had this big set that I got at Christmas this big well a big gift set that I got in the boots boxing day sales and I was well chuffed I was like what a bargain and it was all the righteous butter the righteous scents like the original soap and glory and that smell of like the hand cream and the body wash that literally takes me back to when was it 20 beginning of 2013 20, yeah 2013 i started reading blogs watching youtube and then obviously i started my own and here we are <laughs> so yeah absolutely love full way next up we've got four bad boys from the body shop they all look the same at a glance but let me just check what we've got aloe day cream aloe night cream aloe day cream aloe night cream there is probably going to be 10,000 tons of these in there because the Body Shop Aloe is still my holy grail everyday skincare. It literally, it plays, I call it say fully cured because we can't be strictly scientific but it pretty much massively contributed to curing my, my acne and my skin. It has just made my skin barrier a dream and um, it's my go-to forever. I love to try new things but the Body Shop Aloe is where it is at. And I know I love the Body Shop, but I am really not being biased. One of the like first Body Shop pro products that I properly got introduced to when I first went to their events and the aloe range has just changed my skin. If you suffer with acne or dry skin or a broken skin barrier, just try the aloe range from the Body Shop. It is honestly changed my life and I'm not exaggerating. Thank you to the Body Shop Liverpool one for introducing me to that. <laughs> oh, next up, this is a little bit of a different one. So this is a Treacle Moon shower gel and I did not realise They've got um, animal test free and vegan, a nice little logo on the front which is fantastic. 95% natural origin, okay. This is a nice like drugstore brand, you know if you just want something different from the shower that doesn't cost out of this world. Just I'm all for a budget product, you know, life is chaotic. <laughs> oh, that, do you know what, that smells like very real fruity, you know when some things are fruity scented and they almost don't. They smell a bit fake. That smells very real. So this, is it papaya? The summer wind brought the sweet scent of papaya and a feeling that an adventure would begin. Fair enough. I did do a lot of traveling last year. Quite fitting. It was gorgeous. I don't recall that it like dried out my skin majorly and I do try and top up on saying this and probably lying through my teeth at the moment because life's crazy and I'm not moisturising all the time <laughs> but moisturise after I've had a shower. 10 out of 10, you can't go wrong with that. Tree Con Moon shower gel, recommend. Go out and get yourself some. I love that they do all the different scents too. One, one of the many brands I really miss and I'm like please just go cruelty free and you know on vegan products is Philosophy. If anybody remembers the craze with Philosophy products and like the bubble baths and all that in I'd say 2012 to 2013 oh my gosh come on in take me back what a time to be alive we all had cat kids and bedding oh, good times <laughs> oh next up is one that I never really looked to try myself and I actually didn't know they made body care but it is the and the stories oh geez I'm not gonna be able to pronounce this the Hadaholamana Body <laughs> Scrub. I didn't know that Under the Stories had a body care brand and you might be able to see there. It's got the vegan logo. I think they cruelty free as well. I'm not 100% certain but it's definitely got the vegan logo on. My mum got me this for Christmas, not this but the one before um, which is so so sweet. It had just come to Liverpool one. I was like, oh, and the storms. I really want to try there. It's one of the ones you always hear down south, but we don't really have up north. <laughs> um, and uh, let me tell you, oh, call blimey. This was like, you know, sometimes if you've been here on my channel before, I say, oh, it smells like a spa. This is like, oh, a spa of its own. Oh, I, it would help if I took the safety lid off, wouldn't it? Oh. 
it's kind of the scent has like expired a little bit but i'm getting hints of what it was like and it was just pure bliss pure magic and it was like the perfect perfectly grainy but nourishing scrub it was like a sugary syrup of a body scrub and it was just bloody gorgeous so if you're in the market for trying some like new skincare skincare body care <laughs> a brand that you've not tried before give and other stories a whirl because honestly that body scrub if you're looking for a good and um, and also like a nice little gift present idea i got it as a gift and it was bloody gorgeous so yes recommend one of these has actually rolled away on the floor um, there's probably going to be tons of these to be honest i think i've probably recycled most of these because as well as the aloe well kind of over last year i've been trying instead the vitamin e because last year it went vegan and um, this is the body shop sorry so this is the vitamin e cream cleanser it wasn't always vegan and then last year they made the formula vegan so i thought i would give it a try and i got hooked on it and um, so this and the aloe one are my favorites i'd say this isn't as thick and as buttery as the aloe one but it is still extremely nourishing but a bit lighter so if you want something really nourishing but not as intense as the aloe one um or just like a light but nourishing cleanser I would say go for the body shop vitamin e cream cleanser again i still use it every day i've probably gone through tons of this i cannot rate it highly enough holy grail cleanser on the subject of the body shop again there's probably loads of these that i've recycled and maybe more like deep down in the bags but this is the aloe soothing toner again part of the aloe range that the, i was introduced to and absolutely fell in love with my skin I still use it, I swear by it every day. It doesn't sting, it doesn't make my skin tight, it doesn't irritate my eyes, and it actually leaves like a nourished feel to my skin after I've swiped my toner over on a cotton pad. 10 out of 10, honestly. If you are looking for a toner that just does the job and doesn't destroy your skin barrier, as, as some have tried in the past have done, <laughs> I would really recommend it and for all skin types as well. Next up, we've actually got another duo and um, do you know what? Over the last year or so, I've actually gone through a few of these. So this is the Rough Stuff Daily Scrub. Now, I've never heard of Rough Scrub before. Oh, sorry, I don't even see that there. I've not heard of Rough Scrub before, but this is a brand that my um, waxer introduced me to for like post-waxing intimate care. And the aim is to kind of reduce the risk of getting ingrowing hairs and just kind of maintain and look after the skin after you've kind of not treated it. It's not really a treat, <laughs> but after you've kind of had your waxing appointment and it is fantastic. So like I was saying in the end of the stories, body scrub was like a nice, thick, rich, syrupy, sugary body scrub. This is like pretty sugary but it has magic in it has like this invisible balm i think it's one of those brands again let's see that focus on mo focuses on mostly natural ingredients so sugar is the number one ingredient coconut oil olive fruit oil peppermint and uh, peppermint leaf oil that's because these are the peppermint ones you can choose from various different ones i think they have unscented they've got lavender they've got citrus i like the peppermint it's just lovely and fresh um, but yeah, once you use it, although it's not like thick and rich and syrupy, like, sorry about that, just my uh, camera cutting out there. Back to the rough stuff scrub, it leaves like this invisible buttery layer and it, it is just magic. It makes your skin feel so nourished. Once you've like showered, you'll feel like you've already put moisturiser on in not an irritating way at all. It is just magic and it's really good for post-waxing skincare. I would highly, highly recommend it. Next up, I'm delving into the other bag because I can see another pair here. And now there's definitely only two of these and it's the Superdrug Dermavu, 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 Advanced Skincare Hydrating Lotion with ceramides for dry to very dry skin. A blend of ceramides and hyaluronic acid, fragrance free. Oh my gosh, I need a break after that one. <laughs> and I think, I've got a feeling this is actually like body lotion or you know for targeted areas of really dry skin but i got these as hand cream if you 
if I said long coat but you will know that I, I suffer terribly with dry hands it's just the nature of my day to day and my work um, and they get so painfully dry and crack and bleed so I thought these would be to the real deal real deal is that the right phrase I thought these would be like outstanding cure all the worries in my hands um, and it's very good spray and it it is hydrating it leaves a bit of an oily film I mean I've got hand creams that I love that leave a little bit of an oily film but in a different way it just felt a bit lacklustre it didn't feel like a rich nice fatty barrier that was like building up my skin barrier and um, yeah I just I wasn't fussed on them I, I wouldn't repair just to be honest I was desperate to use them up in the end next up is the L I kept reading this is dry because it rubbed off it's the dewy coconut setting mist oh gosh this I can't even remember how long ago I got this I must have finished a while ago and sadly I can't remember much about this but I think I really did enjoy it I think at the time this was like my holy grail and I was comparing this to the Urban Decay one so it must have performed well so that is one I'd say give a try I might give that a try again actually um, lovely scent so beautiful for the summer as well refreshing okay here's a little blast from the recent past this is the body shops spiced orange vanilla and cinnamon body butter this was from not last christmas but the one before um oh this smells pretty much gone now but this was one of my most favorite christmas ranges the body shop ever did i love that every year they come out with a new fragrance and you know new collections for each season and Christmas but this was hands down one of my favourite and if favorites, if the body shop brought that out again I would jump at the chance to get more 10 out of 10 absolutely love if you've not tried the body shop body care especially the body butters like I'm being serious don't be like oh the body shop are gonna go you need to try the body shop their body butters oh they're amazing next up is another group product and this is the SPF 30 face sunscreen and it's got five stars of UVA coverage which is my preferred amount now I do prefer an SPF 50 at least or 50 plus as you can see I'm very pale <laughs> so I catch the sun easily I hold on to it like a moth to the, f to the flame to a flame <laughs> so I use all the sun protection I can get I really enjoyed this it wasn't so again my holy grail just so happens to be the body shop facial SPF um, but it is a little bit on the pricier side and this was like a real bargain it was really affordable it is it is smaller it's only 50 mils not just the body shop one i'm actually not too sure it didn't quite last as long now it was a bit runnier but a good facial spf is hard to come by and it was not greasy it soaked in really well but it did it did leave my skin feeling nourished and gave me a little glow which is what i love about the body shop one because that is like that but on steroids it make it gives me like glass skin which is mad because that's not what it's for and um, but this still gave me beautiful looking skin and um, so yeah I, I can't fault it and i think i'm gonna get some more of it I just i'm saying i wish they did an spf 50 i think that was the one i got sent through like the rail card offer i use i believe they do do an spf 50 so I will let you know how I get on with that one. I will just it. Next up is the Sufkin Super Greens Detoxifying Facial Scrub. I'm sure I've had this in the past from like Holland and Barrett. Uh, on the back it says as well, glow with a Super Greens blend, including kale, spirulina, if I'm saying that right, and parsley. I love this. It's beautiful. So we all know the infamous St. Ives scrub. We all destroyed our, our skin with those as teenagers, <laughs> especially the peach one. I feel like most of us have the peach one. <laughs> I definitely had that one. Um, but I do still enjoy a physical exfoliant. I'm a little bit scared of acids. I'm trying to like branch into them a little bit more, but I need to do a bit more research around them first before I go in and wreck my skin barrier <laughs> so i do still like a physical exfoliant and what i love about the soothing ones is they're full of like natural products and they just try and keep it minimal but with the good stuff it's got like the perfect in between it's not naff and it's not going to scrub anything away but it's not like saint ives level of like resurfacing your whole face <laughs> like beyond what you really need <laughs> and it actually does leave like a nice nourished barrier when you've used it i think i've got more of this on the go at the moment 
outfit. I think it's fantastic, honestly. If you want to change from acid exfoliants, because I know they are all the range now, or you do prefer a physical exfoliant, I would just say give it a go. I aim to like, well, I was exfoliating like twice a week, but now it's more like once a week on a good week. But it really just kind of keeps the balance in my skin barrier and keeps it happy. Yeah, I totally recommend that. Next up is another facial mist. Sorry, another setting spray. And this is the Barry M Fresh Face. It's their fixation one. Now, I've tried a couple of these. I've tried this one and I've tried the dewy one. But I just can't make my mind up between the two, which I find more effective. I think I was hinting at that it was the dewy one, which seems weird because you'd think the fixation one would have more staying power. I just can't make my mind up. I'm not certain. I've used them a little bit over recent months and I just feel like they're not working as well as I thought they used to. They are good though, but I think the e.l.f. dewy coconut one trumps it. I would say out of the two of them, the dewy one's the best. The fixation one doesn't seem to be as strong, but yeah, it might be one to give a try. I'm working my way through setting sprays. I'm, I'm still on the hunt. Although I do love the air and the cow. I need like a drugstore dupe. <laughs> okay, next up I have got the Away Smoothing Cream. Now when I was talking about the Coco and Eve hair mask, the Away, is it smoothing hair mask? No, I don't think it was the smoothing one, but it was the blue writing uh, range. That is hands down my favourite hair mask. The smoothing cream is something that my hairdresser also introduced me to, which is like the the after product that she puts on my ends or she used to when my hair is very long and very very frizzy and it is just a miracle worker it literally gives you like that salon hair like when you've just had gone and had your hair washed and blow dried at the hairdressers it does that it is phenomenal so i just she gave me like the last bit of that tube and i was using it for a little while obsessed and do you know what i really would buy it again i really would and i'm talking like that is on the level of Olaplex? Olaplex I think it is. <laughs> that is on the level of Olaplex. But the thing about Away is that they're like 100%, I don't know if I'm quoting this perfectly right, but they are like almost 100% natural, if not 100%, and all about zero waste and recycling. Aluminium, recyclable plastic, they are an amazing brand. So yeah, if you are an Olaplex fan, I would have a look at Away. And I'm not just saying that for the eco-friendly benefits, I'm saying their hair care is serious stuff. Next up, we've got a makeup product, Soap and Glory's Archery Brow, oh, Brow Tint and Shaping Pencil. We have no pencil left. So this is the one with the felt tip. Do you know what? I really, really enjoyed this. I think my... My only gripe with it was, if you want a delicate brow, that's probably perfect. And I've been building up my confidence with brows because they've not always been my favourite thing over the years. And I used to think when I would do them, they just wouldn't look right on me. Um, but this really, like, edged me into brows. I, I really enjoyed it. But you really didn't get much product. So I was kind of disappointed with what I got. So I wouldn't recommend it because I didn't feel it was very, very good value for money. But it was lovely. Next up, we have a Jules hand cream. I'm sure I got this in a Christmas set. And uh, this is when I found out that the Jules body care is cruelty free and vegan. I did not know that. And this was absolutely gorgeous. This was like the perfect combination between, okay, not my super duper favourites that are like high intensity, fatty butter, buttery nourishing hand creams it's like the perfect in the middle so it's quick absorbing in the middle kind of light but also nourishing and leaves a bit of a barrier and it had a beautiful scent as well oh yes this has like a fresh garden smell like if you were to walk into what you can imagine like a proper english country garden full of flowers this is what it would smell like. I was obsessed. I would hands down buy this again. I don't know if I did get it in a gift set or I actually bought it to go on my desk, but yeah, I would totally get that again. With notes of green tangerine, oh, green tangerine and jasmine. There you go. Beautiful. Highly recommend. Another aloe day cream. I'm obsessed. Right, I've emptied a bag and it's now all on my lap. So I'm going to try and power through these last few things. Back to Groom. I actually got one of their body butters to try. It was nice. It wasn't over fragrant. So if you're in sync for the in, you're on the market, something that's not super fragranced in the body butter, 
ticks that box, but it just wasn't that nourishing, didn't last that long, so sadly I wouldn't purchase that one. I spoke about this briefly before when I spoke about the Body Shop Vitamin E Cream Cleanser. This is the Ali one. Last time I used this was in Morocco, so a year and a couple of months ago. Absolutely loved it. As I said, it's more intense, more of like a butter, buttery, fatty texture, and um, beautiful, beautiful for your skin. And um, the reason I haven't repurchased it is just because I'm kind of trying to stick with everything in the same while I'm trying certain skincare products, but I will get back to that one in the future. Super Drugs Vitamin E Almond Moisturising Shower Cream is next up. Just a basic, bog standard, cheap and cheerful shower cream. And um, my mum got these. She got us a few, very sweet. Um, yeah, we just up in the bathroom for a while. They were lovely. Did the job, cheap as chips, can't complain. Not the most natural, but lovely. Would recommend, left feeling nourished. Lovely scent as well, I found it very calming after a long day. Oh, now this one, I don't know how to pronounce, but I think it's Bybee, and it's their Milk Me Milk Melt Vegan Oat Milk Cleanser. Now, I actually got this in, I think it was an Agora Beauty Box from the Blogosphere event. <laughs> and I was really excited because I was like, oh my gosh, it's vegan, it's like a solid vegan product um, and milk cleanser sounded beautiful. I did not get on with this. It was not milky, it was not creamy, it lathered, it foamed, it stripped my skin of moisture. It was a no from me. Oh now this is another throwback and it's quite ironic. So this is the Lush Sticky Dates Shower Gel and it is actually extremely sticky and covered in dust so slightly gross and um, I think it's kind of leaked but probably because that was in my suitcase on plane with me to Morocco I'll give it a whiff but I don't know if it's a bit expired now it's slightly died <laughs> um, but yeah that is just Morocco in a bottle for me I thoroughly enjoyed that I, I do love luscious um, shower gels I think they're amazing a little bit on the pricier side but nice retreat nice as a gift they are amazing and I would highly recommend the Sticky Dates one if you've got a sweet tooth like me and you like sweet smells of course, don't go eat it. But on the subject of face scrubs, we have got the Body Shop Vitamin C Glow Boosting Microdermabrasion. Oh, microdermabrasion for dull, tired, grumpy skin. Well, I know, it sounds like me every morning. <laughs> um, do you know what? I vaguely remember this. Yeah, the smell has definitely gone because I've chopped that to get as much product out of it as I can. And um, I think I really enjoyed that. The, yeah, the only thing I'd say is, um, I think, I don't know if it used to be in the pump bottle, and it's the mag... No, it's not. I don't think they do that anymore, but they used to do it with the drops of youth. Anyhow, um, the only thing I loved it, but I'd say about it, was it wasn't as nourishing as maybe the Ali one or the Sukin one. And it was a little bit more strenuous is not a word. Slightly, slightly more powerful. So I think if you've got sensitive skin, I wouldn't recommend it. More for the feistier skinned people. <laughs> um, yeah, nice. I couldn't say that I noticed any drastic changes with the vitamin C, but I'm more of a sensitive skin gal. I'm going to get rid of this one quickly because I don't want this to leak everywhere. But this is Super Drugs SPF. Um, SPF 50 High Transparent Sun Spray, sun spray <laughs> with 5 stars of UVA protection. Ticks all those boxes but it was just way too greasy. Most SPFs stay in my clothes, it's a real nightmare but I've got some that are pretty good at not. I would not recommend this though, it stains, it's greasy, it's a nightmare and as you can see the cap gets all sticky and greasy so I, I would not recommend that. Next we've got a makeup product and it's the NYX Honey Dew Me Up Primer. What fascinated me about this was it had like little flecks of, of gold in, which I thought was fascinating and a really nice idea. I really thoroughly enjoyed this. It had a nice tacky feel to it so I felt like it was really sticking my makeup on. I actually did a full review of this on my channel a little while ago so I will link that below. But yeah, I loved it and I really would try it. I would try it again. But at the main, I need some more Juvia primers. But if you want your makeup to stick, I really would try it. I really want to try it. There's a lot of reallys in this sentence. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I do really want to try the, is it the Elf Power Grip? The Elf Power Grip primer there. I'm really intrigued to see what that would be like. This is the 17 Second Skin Enhancing Foundation. I have got Hannah hooked on this now. Or I think she just purchased it. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's one of my favourite everyday foundations. This was one of my ones where 
through COVID and with my mask wearing, I started to just apply my foundation with my fingers and go with your powder so I could just touch it up throughout the day when it all smudged around. Amazing. Little genius in the bottle. Light, sits on the skin beautifully. Amazing colour match. I cannot rate this highly enough. I'd say it's like a medium coverage, but you can build up a bit more. I love it. Is that another one? That's another one. Just goes to show. <laughs> we have got an original source tingly mint and tea tree shower gel. I really like original source because they are clearly marked as cruelty free and vegan and it's just so handy you know when you're in the shop and you're like I need a shower gel sorted and they have beautiful scents. I loved how refreshing this was and I don't know if I actually saved this for like the Christmas period maybe the year before last with the mint and um, I was so refreshing so refreshing I definitely get that again and I'd get a lot for Christmas I think that's the nice side okay, this one I don't think we've had any perfume yet but it's Boots Memento Salt on my skin I actually got this in a gift set and I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it so Boots's own brand is cruelty free and they are so much better at labeling their products cruelty free and vegan now not all the vegan but they're getting there um, I thoroughly enjoyed this and the salt on my skin, I think it's based on the idea of, you know, a salty seawater kind of beach day and like that lovely fresh scent, a little bit coconutty, ever so slightly from like your, your sun cream and it, it really was that in a bottle. I was thoroughly impressed. I loved it. It's gone a bit weak now because it's empty, but I would try that again. I would definitely try that again. And if you were looking for a nice gift, it comes in a beautiful gift set with a little nail polish as well. Okay, this is another one I got in the Agora Beauty Box from the Blogosphere event, and it's the Christoph Robin Shampooing, sorry, Colour Shield Shampoo. I'd never heard of this brand before, and I was really surprised. They're actually cruelty free, and this was vegan. It was very hard to find. <laughs> it was a bit of a pain. Um, did I use this? I can't remember if I used this or not, but I did. No, I did. I did. It was my blonde hair time last year, and I do feel like it really cooled down my blonde. Like it took the brassy tones out of it. Like I really could see and. It, a slight but noticeable effect. I would recommend that. I, I really would. If you've got blonde hair, I can't say about other coloured hair, but for blonde hair, that Christoph Robin Colour Shield shampoo was, it made an effect. It was good. SPF again, and as I said before, it's the Body Shop Skin Defense. It's got new packaging now. This is a really old one, but it's my holy grail. SPF 50. It says PA 3 pluses. I don't actually know what that means, but it's like all high, 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 high sun care, holy grail, does the job, it's not greasy, makes my face feel nourished and makes my face feel nourished and moisturised and leaves a beautiful glow, like I've got glass skin, literally, my makeup sits perfectly on top and it soaks in really well, 10 out of 10, holy grail. Now I've got a few of these so I'm going to try and group them all together. So these are three of the Body Shop's hand creams. These are some of my favourites. My holy, holy, holy grail is the Natura Brazil ones, but these are like a close second. So we've got the mango, the coconut, the hemp, and the almond milk. And I'd probably say the mango was my favourite. I love a fruity scent. Um, but yeah, they are just great for looking after the skin in your hands, building up that barrier again. I would highly recommend the Body Shop's hand cream and I know I keep saying that about all of their products but that's how much I genuinely love and enjoy them and not because I've been to their events, it's because their products work so well for me and um, yeah honestly if you have bad hands like me that crack and bleed, Body Shop hand creams, holy grail. Back to a bit of sun care, now this has been my holy grail for many years and it's the aloe vera sun lotion SPF 50. The only thing with it is, it's a little bit tra tricky to come by and get hold of, so I haven't used it for a bit, but even my friend who's not vegan has used this and has been so impressed by how well it absorbs. It's literally a sun cream that does not feel greasy, and I feel like there is barely any in the world that are like that. The only other one I've found similar to it is the Bondi Sands one, but it doesn't leave you as nourished and moisturised as this does, which I would never expect out of an SPF but this one just goes above and beyond. I don't find it's too bad at staying in my clothes as well. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to round this up because my camera is giving up on me. <laughs> it's like, no, time to go. But yeah, 
I would highly recommend that one. Okay, last up, I'm gonna go for a kind of familiar favourite. I think I've spoken about this before on my channel or in blog posts, but this is the Crazy Rumours Lip Balm in Banana Split. I've actually got one of these in my pocket for work. <laughs> I've almost used up. These are hands down the best lip balms ever. They stay, they leave a buttery barrier and they make the most deliciously gorgeous scents in the whole world. I would say they even beat Lush and that's quite the statement. They're full of good stuff and shea butter. Honestly, the scents that they create are just a dream, like the sweetest, most beautiful creations you can imagine to like coffee and almond not almond, marzipan. <laughs> they are beautiful and they do like a lot of seasonal ones too, like s'mores and, and pumpkin spice. I'm sure you can get them on Sephora's website. I would just, you just need to try it. They're fantastic. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there for this video because I think this part one of the empties is long enough as it is and even my camera's saying no and keeps cutting out. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. If you've seen anything that you know that you love too or you have any thoughts on, please comment down below and let me know. There will be a part two to follow very soon and once done, I shall tag it down below and I can also try and pop it up here as well. So you can go over and watch that straight away if you fancy. Thank you so much for watching and it's lovely to see you again and I'll see you very soon. Bye!